All right, Stephen, Tim, do you think it is necessary for AMD to increase core counts for Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 5 to compete with the new Core i7 and Core i5? Uh, assuming Intel doubles the e-cores in both of those products. So this is like Raptor Lake versus Zen 4, I suppose. Yep. So I think what the expectation with Raptor Lake is that the P-core count is going to stay the same and mm-hmm. the E-core count will be doubled. So mm-hmm. something like the thir- 13900K, is that really what it's going <laughs> oh, to be? Please. That's the first time I've ever said that yeah. out loud and it sounds bad. It's very the, awkward. The 13900K mm. would have eight P-cores and 16 E-cores theoretically. Mm-hmm. So, I it's mean- be, That'd be a productivity beast. Yeah, I mean, you've shown in the past that e-cores have limited usefulness for gaming. Mm -hmm. So the main gains will be for things like rendering and those Mm -hmm. sorts of things, compilations, et cetera, for productivity stuff. So if Intel aren't getting much of an IPC game with Raptor Lake, but they're adding a lot more cores, that could be countered by AMD getting a significant frequency and IPC gain for Zen 4. So they've already shown in Blender, for example, the, their 16-core CPU sample versus the 12900K was 46% faster mm-hmm. for rendering a Blender workload. So you'd think that taking a 12900K and adding another eight e-cores, would that even give you 46% uplift? Probably not. No. Probably not. You never know. Well, you the, never. The yeah. performance could be improved in other areas, exactly. obviously. Exactly, exactly. But... I, I don't think it's a given that they need to increase core count. It really does depend what the next generation looks like for their performance. Because, mm-hmm. again, Zen 4 is going to have every core with the same level of performance because mm-hmm. they're not using a hybrid approach and Intel adding more e-cores. You know, the balance there could depend. So, yeah. I mean, I guess one thing that you know could impact is if they take a product like a 12400, which has no e-cores, mm-hmm. and they start adding in e-cores, that could produce quite a big productivity gain yeah, depending again, on how many they is, add in. It is productivity we would be talking about there, not, yeah. not gaming. So, I mean, it, they're not useless for gaming, but they're not particularly useful either. No. I mean, so, they... Well, and it could change in the future. Yeah, I mean, Intel sort of said they are they help with background tasks and maybe future games will start mm-hmm. using them, but we haven't really seen too much of that impact yet. Yeah, it's uh, with current games, you don't want to use them in really any capacity for gaming if you can help it. Yeah. If it can lighten the load on the background tasks, then sure, there's probably a benefit there. 